Church, welcome back to the channel. It's Leo here from Make Money Coaching Sports. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out. Also, if you want to get in contact with me to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call to talk about your business, okay, I do offer them. So visit the description in this video. You'll find my Cadenly link. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. We can jump on Zoom. I can ask you a couple of questions with regards to your business and show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to do that, you just want to send me an, a direct email. You can do that as well. You can send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Also, if you want to text me, this is something I don't mention a lot on the videos, but it is in the introduction of the video. If you want to text me via WhatsApp, okay, go to, to the start of this video and watch the intro. My number is there, so wherever you are in the world, if you're in the US, if you're in New Zealand, if you're in Australia, if you're in the UK, wherever you are, send me a, a text via WhatsApp and I'll get back to you with within tw 24 hours. Okay, so today I wanted to make this video because I wanted to come on here and show you three things you need in order to start your own uh, soccer training or soccer coaching business. Now, I get asked a lot of the time, coaches ask me, how did you start your, your football slash coaching, uh, sorry, football slash soccer coaching uh, training business? And what I wanted to do, I want to, I want to share with you three things that were really important to me, three things that I did to start, and three things that you can essentially implement when you are in the maybe the starting phase or the scaling phase of your business, right? So the first thing was I made a commitment to the business. So essentially, before I started, and before I went all in on my business, I was working for a coaching company full time. Now, a few things made sense to me. Number one was I had a lot of knowledge in, in soccer because I've been coaching for 15 plus years already. Uh, as I'm recording this video, it's, it's up to about 18 years that I've been in this industry. So I've got a lot of knowledge, a lot of years of experience working with players of different age groups, different genders, and also coaching in, in multiple countries as well. Okay, I haven't just coached in the UK, I've coached in the US, I've coached in South America, I've coached in Spain. Okay, so I've got a lot of experience working with different age groups, working in country, in different countries, uh, coaching in different languages. So for me, it was a comfortable move and it made sense because it was an easy transition. All I had to do is now is take the plunge from quitting my full time job, quitting that that secure salary that I was getting every single month and going all in and starting from zero. Now, it's, it is scary, okay, and I remember I had a lot of sleepless nights thinking about how, how I'm going to pay for this, how am I going to pay for that, when I've only got a couple of clients, but ultimately for me personally, and this isn't something I would recommend for all coaches, but for me personally, that drove me to continue to work harder, okay, because I knew in my mind now, I wanted to do this full time. This was something that I wanted to do for, well, for, for, the, for the next three to five years. And this was something that made sense to me. So all I needed to do is I needed to learn how to sell. I needed to learn how to market. And I just need to get myself out there and known to parents. So before I did all of that, before I learned about sales and marketing, I made a commitment that this is what I wanted to do, right? This is what I wanted to do. I'm going to go through a lot of highs. I'm going to go through many lows. But if I stay the course, essentially, I know it will work. So that's what I did. I quit my full time job. I went all in. So I had a, a safety net salary every single month that I was uh, I was making. And then suddenly, I went to zero. Okay. Now that is scary. Again, I had a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress, 
but it was something that I wanted to do. Okay, because in my mind, I wanted to to build my own business. I wanted to work for myself, and I wanted to train players essentially the way I knew that I could, and the way I could by also providing more value. Okay, so the first thing you need is you need to make a commitment. Is this for you? If it is, then do it, right? Take that plunge, go all in. Okay, if it's not, or if you feel that you're not ready, then don't do it. Keep building it on the site until it gets to the point where you feel comfortable, right? I can quit my full-time job and I can I can go all in on this, right? The second one, second thing I... I did in order to start my business, which is something I just mentioned previously, was I learned about sales. So as soon as I made the decision to, to quit my job, I decided to learn everything I could on how to sell. Okay, Because essentially when you're in business, selling is the most important thing that you need. Right? If you're not selling, you're not making money. And if you're not making money, you know, you're not providing for your family. And you're not able to feed yourself. So I needed to, to find ways to, to learn about sales. And funny enough, like sales was something that before I made a commitment to learn about it, it was something that I thought was dirty. I thought I thought it was it was just something that people, you know, hate. People hate salespeople. But ultimately I learned to sell in a way where it provides the prospect or it provides the client with value. And also I don't sound so, so much as a, um, as a salesman per se, right? I learned to sell in a way where essentially when I'm getting on, on calls with parents, it, it's just, it's, it's a conversation, right? I'm, I'm essentially fact finding and finding information about that client and with that information, then I'm making a conscious decision. Is that parent or is that prospect a right fit for my training program? Right. If they are based on the answers they've given me, then we offer them a an evaluation session where they come to the session. I evaluate the child. If I then feel that the child is um, a good fit, then I offer them a spot into the program now if i don't feel that they're, they're a good fit then that's okay we keep them on the system and if a camp or a clinic comes up in the future we can reach out to that client again or that prospect All right so i learned how to sell in a way where essentially it was just learning how to have conversations with people right and that's essentially what sales is right you're learning how to communicate with people you're learning how to ask the right questions you're learning how to fact find, how to gather information and make a conscious decision on whether that, that, that prospect, that customer is a good fit for your program, right? So number one, I made a commitment to go all in with the business. Number two, I learned sales, right? I went on multiple courses and... Um, well, I found a mentor. That's the one I'm going to get to, to the, the, the third the third one. But I found a mentor who then taught me about, about sales. Um, I attended webinars, uh, seminars. I read books. I went all in on, on this area of sales. And I still do today, right? I still do today. And I just keep learning so that I can use different strategies into my business to help me become a more confident uh, salesperson. Okay. Now, the third thing I learned, which was, well, the third thing I did in order to start the business was I found a mentor. Now, the mentor in my case was uh, Coach Ben. So if you haven't watched uh, Ben's videos, right, Ben is the founder of make money coaching sports i was a a, a client in his uh, accelerator program i was a student i mean i still am I, I do work with ben in the company so i still essentially i am a student right i watch his content i learn his material i implement it every single day so 
essentially, I am still a student of the game. Okay? I'm by no means perfect, right? There's always things that I can learn and improve on. But what I did is when I made that commitment, I said, right, I need to find someone that's already done what, I'm, what I want to do. And I need to learn off this person. Okay, so essentially I found Ben through, well, YouTube. It was through YouTube. I watched a lot of his content. Um, I also watched uh, the podcast we have. So I got, I absorbed everything that, that he was sharing. And then I implemented, right? So I learned his material, his content, and I implemented it into my business. And that helped me to avoid a lot of, mistakes that he made and also it helped me to to take a shortcut in business right because a lot of people what they do is and especially in this industry with with coaches a lot of coaches have a lot of egos and when there's egos then what tends to happen is you make the same mistake over and over again and essentially you learn from that mistake. But what most coaches don't want to do, they don't want to invest in a business coach. They don't want to invest in a business mentor. So they will do things by themselves. They will essentially fail. They will make mistakes. They will make a lot of costly mistakes. And then by themselves, they might find different ways to figure it out and, and implement correct uh, strategies into the business which then essentially work but when you do that you have to know that it that takes time right it takes time to fail and it can be very costly right because if you're taking three to six months learning how to do something if you put a little bit of skin in the game and you pay for someone to show you how to avoid those three to six months and how to do it in one month then your business will grow and it also it will become stronger. So what I did, I learned everything I could off Ben. I invested into him as well. I brought a lot of his, his, his material. Um, I joined the Sports Accelerator program. It was called something else back then, right? We've, we've rebranded it. We, we've remodeled it um, since then. But... Essentially, he was my mentor, right? And he taught me how to sell. He taught me how to market. He taught me how to structure the business. He taught me how to essentially uh, create systems within the business that that it was simple. Okay, as soon as I get on a sales call, what's the next step I need to do? And then after that, what do I need to do? How do I close that client? How do I create promotions? How do I sell camps, sell clinics, right? How do I create online products? Anything and everything you can think of, right? I learned through Ben, and this is something obviously I do now. I teach and I work with uh, coaches to do. So the three things you need in order to start and grow a football slash soccer coaching business and it doesn't even have to be just in soccer, right? Obviously, our company works with basketball. We work in baseball. We work in uh, American football. We work in lacrosse. We work in cricket. We work in tennis. We work with coaches in every single sport. But what you need in order to start your own coaching business is, number one, you need to make a commitment. Is this the right thing for you? And if it is, how do we then transition from what we're doing into trying to do it full time so that you can make it your only focus every single day? Second one is essentially you've got to learn sales and marketing. You have to learn how to sell and market your, your, your program, your business to prospects so they can buy from you, they can join your program, and then you can create referral systems where they're bringing in new like-minded customers into your company and then the third one is find a business coach right find a business coach find a business mentor someone that can help you to take shortcuts and avoid costly mistakes with your coaching business right so if any of these three things relate to you and if you are at the stage where you want to now grow and scale what you're doing 
get in contact with me, right? As I mentioned at the start of this video, there's three ways you can do that. The first one is book a free 15 to 20 minute call via the Canonly link. Second one, you can send me an email, right? Directly to, to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Or the third way is wherever you are in the world, you can send me a text message uh, to my WhatsApp number. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.